In today's technology-paced 24-7 environment, how do I inspire other women using innovation and or imagination? Well, before I answer that question, let's define imagination and innovation. Webster defines imagination as the act of forming a mental picture of something not present to the senses or never before perceived in reality. It sounds really lofty, but it really means having your eyes open to your own potential and possibilities. Innovation is defined as the introduction of something new. Sometimes being innovative is not just a new technological gadget, but a better way of communicating. I use both tools, imagination and innovation, to help women overcome barriers and change generations to follow. For me, technology augments the work that I do in training our next generation of teachers. As an adjunct professor at Trevecca Nazarene University, I show or model for my students how to be better educators. I use the word show because each time I step in front of a classroom, I am keenly aware that I am the billboard for every concept I am hoping to teach my class. Of course, we study and learn how to be great leaders of children, but more importantly, I model how to prepare students for learning. Assignments are carefully crafted to include the use of their imagination, and the students are inspired to do outstanding work. Charles Malik's quote, the fastest way to change society is to mobilize the women of the world, holds so much truth. But I want to take it one step further. I believe that by empowering women to use their imagination when teaching our children, they will impact the life of every child they will ever teach. As chair of the Arts and Letters Committee of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, the Nashville Alumni Chapter, I had to be innovative in leading this multi-generational group of women. While most people would have ignored the multi-generational divide and jumped right into planning events, I took a different approach. At the first meeting, time was spent learning about the characteristics of each generation represented. We also discussed their reasons for joining the committee. It was face-to-face -face communication that enabled our committee to really see and hear each other. We were able to sponsor the most events ever in one year. The goddess Athena was rational, powerful, and an inspiration. Athena was also the goddess of wisdom. We must be wise when selecting the right vehicle to inspire women. The many generations of women leaders will use text, tweets, and or social media, and coupled with this technology is heartfelt communication, that nonverbal communication that can never be replaced. This says to a young woman, I've been there. Let me share my path with you so that your walk may be a bit easier. Let me help you along your journey. Thank you.